Okay, today we're going to talk a little bit about addition and subtraction. And really the easiest way to actually learn the material is just to do a lot of practice problems. Uh, as you can see here, I have six uh, practice questions. Uh, the first three will be addition problems, and then the last three will be subtraction problems. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the addition uh, questions. As you can see here, we have 45 plus 16. So the first step in addition is we add the ones place. So we add 5 plus 6 and that will give us 11. But we only list the ones here. We carry it over and we can just put a 1 on here. So this is actually equivalent to 11. Now we add these three numbers up. It will be 4, 5, 6 and the answer is 61. Now if you didn't get that, don't worry, we, we're going to do plenty of examples. Uh, the next one's a little bit more complicated here. We have 456 plus 456. Now the first thing we do is we add to the ones place. So 6 plus 6 is 12. But you just put the 1. 5 plus 5 is 10 plus 1 is 11. 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. Now we have a simple one here, just 10 plus 10, but what I wanted to show was that when we add zeros, that just equals a zero. So this answer would be 20. Now subtraction is a little bit more tricky. As you can see here, we have 45 minus 16. Now what is 5 minus 6? Now that, that might be a little bit difficult to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to borrow from the tens place. And how we do it is we'll cross out the 4 and write a 3. Because we're borrowing 110. And we'll make this a 15. So now we can subtract 15 minus 6. Which is 9. And now we can subtract the tens place. 3 minus 1 which is 2. Now here, here's another uh, you know, kind of obvious question, but we're, we're just going to go through it you know, to, to get the concept. And what we, we see here is that 6 minus 6 would be 0. 5 minus 5 is 0. And 4 minus 4 is 0. So the entire question is 0. Now here, uh, uh, it's a little bit more complicated here. And I'm going to get into this in more detail in later uh, lectures. But as you can see, the first number is actually smaller than the second number. Uh, we're subtracting 23 from 12. So, okay, let's just go ahead and do it how we know. We see 2 minus 3. We can't do that. We have to borrow from the tens place. Now, leave it with a 0 and 12. Now, 12 minus 3 is 9. Now, as you can see here, uh, the, the biggest question now is, uh-oh, uh, we've got a 0 here and a 2 here, and we have no other place to borrow from. So therefore, our answer is going to be a negative, a negative number. So what I like to do in this kind of situation is I'll actually flip the numbers. So I'll put 23 on top, and then I'll put 12 on the bottom and I'll subtract those. So 3 minus 2 will be 1, 2 minus 1 will be 1. But since we flip them, we have to put a negative here. So the answer is negative 11. 